One thing I will say up front is that little... That's iconic. What a great little musical note, like light motif that lets you know exactly what you're about to watch. Hello, Adam Ryan Donato. 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 Hello, Adam Ryan Donaldo. Hello, Adam Ryan Donato. 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 Hello, hello. I am here, Adam, here to talk to you today about a movie that I watched this weekend called Jackass Forever. Jackass Forever is a movie about a bunch of guys who are old now with some new guys. These old guys, they used to do a show called Jackass on MTV, and they did a couple movies. The whole basis of the show and the movies is let me do the stupidest things I can possibly do to hurt me and my friends we'll record it and we'll just put it all together i never saw a jackass movie so this is my intro to the franchise i remember i had paramount plus for like a month for a free trial and i started the first movie and it was the rental car derby so they took a rental car and just smashed it up and then brought it back and we're like mm -hmm. i turned it off and started watching the godfather but that's neither here nor there this is my first real soiree into this franchise it's the first time i saw one in a theater and i couldn't stand it now let me be clear for what they're trying to do I think it's good. Their goal is let's just do a bunch of crazy dumb stunts, have a bunch of dudes hanging out together, making fun of each other, laughing, having a good time. And if we're having a good time, then they'll have a good time. You know, we one at a time, one of the guys of the group will go make them do the most stupid ass nine thing we could possibly think of. We'll all stand around and watch and laugh and the audience will sit and laugh with us as if we are one of the friends just sitting there watching it and we don't have to do a bit we don't have to put bees all over our genitals or get smacked into a pool or blasted out of a cannon i was just uncomfortable the entire time i called moonfall the lowest common denominator movie and i think this is it but i think this is better this definitely has more artistic integrity than moonfall this definitely is better experience because whereas moonfall is like just dumb and bad this at least like it went by quick this is 96 minutes i had to pee the entire time it went by like nothing to the movie's credit i didn't go pee because well i don't want to miss one of the bits and even the one of the bits that i was like oh well i saw this in the trailer so i know vaguely how this is gonna go no even those i stayed and i watched and i watched the whole thing and everyone around me is doing this like raucous laughter like it's the funniest thing in the planet and i'm just sitting there like yeah he got hit in the nuts so here's my my only critique i guess when they're doing these big elaborate stunts with these big props and whatever that's a lot of fun and everyone's sitting around laughing and ha 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 you you just got bit in the face by a venomous snake where it kind of turns me off they'll just be like hanging around and then one of them will just go and just hit their friend in the balls for no reason i have a lot of dude in me i can confidently say that one thing i was never about was like violence in any way don't hit me don't like even sm smack me on the back hard i don't want to do a five star i don't want to do sting pong i'm not into any of that don't hit me don't uh, wrestle with me don't hurt me i don't want to be hurt weird right i don't want to be hurt i don't want to hurt my friends either i just think that that's cruel and weird when they plan this whole bit you know, it's this big symphony of jackassery that's fun but when johnny knoxville's just kind of standing there and then his buddy's next to him and he just goes bam and just smacks him in the nuts i'm like oh that was rude like that wasn't even like clever or funny that was just a really weird thing for you to do everyone's really comfortable with their genitalia there's a lot of genitalia in this movie i didn't care for it if you look at the trailer for this movie and you go oh that looks like a great time you're gonna love this i think this is one of those movies that yeah sure most movies are like this but this movie especially there is nothing below the surface the the trailer is a, basically a microcosm of the entire movie if you like that trailer if you like this concept you're going to like the movie no one watches the trailer for this movie and then watches the actual movie and is like oh wow that was bad i really was excited because of the trailer but 
the movie's bad. No, the movie's exactly what the trailer is. There's no story. There's no character or anything. It is nice, like, oh, the camaraderie of this group of people. There wasn't even that much sentimentality. I was expecting a lot more of that. Like, I actually would have been like, oh, these guys are broing out and, like... This is, they're old now. But there was like one conversation about like, oh, well, we did the 10 years later thing. And we were like, wow, it's been 10 years. I can't believe it. If this is your bag, then it's great. There's so many awesome bits here that are epic. Yes, I would use the word epic. Some of the bits are really spectacular and they're laugh out loud funny to a certain crowd of people. I said this to my girlfriend when I got home. It seems like the kind of movie that Bart Simpson and Homer Simpson would go to and have a great bonding experience watching. My letterbox review was, it's like watching evolution fail. I was baffled at the end of this when I asked my buddy who had seen the rest of the movies, which by the way, I put myself in the best scenario to enjoy this movie. I had two martinis before entering it and I'm very lightweight, so I'm like, Let's go, baby. I'm with my friends, so I'm not like alone. I was super uncomfortable and wanted to leave. I enjoy the pranks. There was a lady that they pranked it to thinking that she was hurting Johnny Knoxville. The entire time I was just like, oh, like that poor woman, she just has no idea what's going on. I wish we had gotten see in the credits where they go up to her and they're like, it's just a prank, it's just a prank. And she goes, ah, ha, 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 so that I can know that it's okay. Everyone super enjoyed this and I was just like, the entire time I did not laugh very much at all. I sank down in my seat a lot because I was just disgusted by a lot of the things that were going on. Like, I don't know, I know you're not supposed to do this. I'm watching them torture this guy's balls. Oh, that looks like it hurts so much. I actually had the thought, I'm like, they definitely talk to like military people who train soldiers to withstand torture. I guarantee that like at least Steve-O has some kind of experience with this because geez, watching him with the bees all over his dick. Oh man, that was so sad. The opening bit's really good. I love the production value of that. This movie must cost nothing to make, by the way. Ridiculously cheap. The new cast was fine. I think my favorite person, I like Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville's a cool celebrity. My favorite person in this movie, probably Aaron. They do a lot with him. He's the Mohawk guy. He's the bear guy. Oh my gosh, the cup stuff. This movie's ridiculous. There's nothing to say. People get hit in the nuts. If that's something you would laugh at, go watch it. If it's not, then don't. Three out of five from me. My friends were like, oh, I'll just give it a one. If you want to give it a one, just give it a one. And I'm like, no, because like there is good things about this. I love a lot of the production value. I love the concept in general because it does work. I worked on the movie this weekend and people adored it there were so many people there big groups of friends and that's what going to the movies is all about i appreciate something like this a lot more than i appreciate your run-of-the-mill marvel tentpole picture and i even appreciate this more than something like bad grandpa i didn't see action park but bad trip yes you got the same kind of bits but like they're trying to wrap this story around it and it just doesn't work for me i'd rather them just cut the fat and just here's the skits and then when one's done cut to black here's the next skit eventually it's over you don't have to sit through any like bad writing or oh man we're trying to manufacture some kind of a plot no you're not i appreciate the balls in this movie the entire time i'm watching the movie and i'm thinking wow what a bunch of jackasses and you know what i guess that means they succeeded let me know what you guys thought tell me how i'm being an old grandpa bitch sitting here oh i didn't like seeing a bunch of nuts on the screen and i don't find it funny when people just get hit in the private parts for no reason that's fair i feel emasculated walking out of this movie and being like oh i didn't like that i've been watching disney movies all week and now i'm watching this movie and i'm just like horrified this feels like a saw sequel or like something like human centipede like you watch with your buddies and you're just like ew isn't that gross like i didn't even mind that people around me were on their phones and talking the entire time because i was like well but thank you for enduring this video. As you can see, I'm doing a little renovation of my organizational style. So next video will look a lot better. Next video will probably be another Disney ranking. I think the Renaissance is next. Or I might do one of the three big movies that comes out next week. Thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite jackass thing. My favorite bit was when Johnny Knoxville got flipped by the bull because that was funny. And I genuinely thought he was probably dead. Someone has to have died from some of these things. Even the guys that like test it before the movie like come on Johnny Knoxville walks out and he's like I got a concussion a broken wrist a broken hand and I'm just like is it worth it I mean I guess they're getting paid millions of dollars and whatever I was not enjoying this and I'm sorry that was a funny pun I appreciate the balls on this movie nice